Sussex crisis. Queen takes last-minute action throw has Meg into prison after major information leak. The relationship between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the royal family is on shaky ground, and there's one thing that could see it completely destroyed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would ruin any chance of reconciling with his family if they disclose what took place behind palace doors during the Platinum Jubilee, a royal expert said. Biographer and journalist Duncan Larkham recently told Britain's Closer magazine, the test really begins now, after the renegade royals returned to their California home following the Queen's four-day celebration in London earlier this month. They have come to the UK and to the Jubilee and really cemented themselves as royals again, which is great for their brand, Larkham said, referencing the couple's various business deals. Page Six previously confirmed that Meghan will be releasing a podcast in the summer in addition to working on an at-home Netflix docuseries with Harry. But everything now depends on their behavior moving forward, Larkham said. Clearly, an olive branch has been extended by the royal family here. But Harry and Meghan would ruin that if any private information about the Jubilee weekend was spoken about to the press or revealed in a book. Larkham added that he believes the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be totally cut off if it does happen, but if they act appropriately and prove they can be trusted, it could be a huge step in the right direction and the start of a new beginning. In March 2021, Harry and Meghan sat down with Oprah Winfrey for a scathing interview in which they alleged that a member of the royal family had asked about the color of the couple's son Archie's skin when Meghan was pregnant. The tell-all only worsened the growing rift in the family. Speaking on claims that the Duke and Duchess were kept at arm's length during the Jubilee, which reportedly left Harry wanting an apology, Larkham said the reasoning behind it was that the royal family was afraid about possible leaks. Harry and Meghan's presence will have been problematic because of the fact that there has been a huge amount of trust broken, he said. I can't imagine there would have been a great deal of interaction, or any heart-to-hearts, as the royals will wonder if anything they say may end up as a chapter in Harry's memoir or on a future podcast. It's uncharted territory for the royals, really. They've never had one of their own in bed with streaming giants or publishing houses before. After the Jubilee, it was claimed that Kate Middleton and Prince William made no effort to introduce their three kids, Prince George, 8, Princess Charlotte, 7, and Prince Louis, 4, to Harry and Meghan's one-year-old daughter, Lilibet. As far as I know, nobody believes they spoke, to each other, royal expert Christopher Anderson told Us Weekly. It was previously reported that Harry and Meghan had invited William, 39, Kate, 40, and their children to Lilibet's first birthday party, but the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge missed it as they were scheduled to be in Wales to take part in the Jubilee celebrations. However, Lilibet did get to meet her great-grandmother Queen Elizabeth II when the couple briefly took her to see the 96-year-old monarch. In other news, Japanese royal fans criticize Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for behaving rudely towards the Queen, and her monarchy. This news has been brought forward by royal expert and author Angela Levin. She referenced the love and fascination Japanese fans have for the British royal family, in her brand new newsletter. Her piece for the Substack newsletter highlighted all the main points and also referenced the growing dislike the fans have for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The newsletter read, Japan is fascinated by our royal family. Every few weeks I am asked by one of their TV channels to update them on what is happening in the UK. She also went on to say, their key interest at the moment is Harry and Meghan and who can blame them. They can't quite believe their behavior towards the senior royals is so, well, rude. No one would behave like that to their royal family, they tell me.